Hey guys, and welcome back to my booktube birthday week. Today I thought we would go through the questions for the anything but books tag, which I was tagged in a while ago by the lovely Brie Hill. So I wasn't allowed to watch much television growing up, so unfortunately I don't like really have a connection with any of those kind of classics, 90s, Rugrats era um, cartoon television shows, but I was obviously raised on classic Disney cartoon films, so uh, some immediate favorites would definitely be uh, Peter Pan, Lion King, Mulan, The Little Mermaid, and Oliver and Company. Like nobody ever talks about Oliver and Company, but I watched that movie so, so many times. Obviously, if you watch my channel, you know that I'm really into Studio Ghibli, and that definitely started when I was a kid, so um, I would say some of my favorite Studio Ghibli films are Kiki's Delivery Service, um, My Neighbor Totoro, obviously, Princess Mononoke from Up on Poppy Hill, and Only Yesterday. My favorite song right now is definitely Left Alone by Blink-182, which is off of their um, recent California album. Uh, and honestly, I'm just kind of obsessed with that album in general uh, as a whole right now. So yeah, definitely anything on that album really by Blink-182. Um, aside from reading, I could definitely listen to podcasts for hours, which is actually something I do on the daily when I go to work uh, because I'm very lucky in that I um, can listen to audiobooks or podcasts or whatever uh, while I'm doing my work, but I actually tend to prefer podcasts because I don't feel like I have to concentrate on them quite so hard. It sometimes depends on my mood, but I can also generally write for hours, uh, mainly because when I get in that zone, I just kind of go and then sometimes I'll look up and it's been three hours and I'm like, I probably should have eaten lunch by now. I think Brie mentioned something about being afraid to do this tag and reveal just how boring we all actually are, and I totally understand how she feels with this question especially. Um, because I don't really know if there's anything that would surprise you guys about me. Maybe you guys wouldn't expect that I actually really like to watch sports. Uh, not all sports, mind you, like football in particular. I just don't understand the hype around, sorry. Uh, but I really, really love watching baseball. I know some people find baseball incredibly tedious, and I know they're actually implementing new rules in the coming year or so to kind of speed up games and make sure they don't go on forever, but I just, I love a good baseball game, and if you can actually go to the game, that's even better. I also enjoy watching basketball, though I don't do it as often as I watch baseball, and if I'm going to be watching basketball, again, I prefer to be at the game because you can yell and get really into it, and yeah, that's, that's always a lot of fun. This might sound like a really weird, kind of creepy thing to be interested in learning about, so I want to preface this by saying that I am an aspiring author, I'm working on a book right now, and I constantly have like little fan fiction-y type things going on the side. So what I really enjoy learning about are different bodily injuries, specifically traumatic injuries, um, and then the different first aid and or old school home remedy um, tricks that you can use to treat those injuries. Again, that could come across as really weird and like, why are you in looking up how to like injure and then treat people? But again, you know, this is, this is all really helpful if you have, say, characters living in a world that is not modern day America, they can't just like walk into a hospital and get the most cutting edge care. Um, it's just, you know, helpful things to know for adventure scenarios and, you know, in your personal life, if you are in a disaster and you don't have the best medical supplies, I guess those are all kind of good things to know. This is probably unusual for, say, a 20-something year old woman in, like, modern day America, but I know how to do basic handworking and woodworking skills, so um, I know how to knit, I know how to sew, I know how to uh, crochet, basic crochet, and do, like, cross-stitch and stuff, and embroidery, um, I know how to use an axe, I know how to do decorative wood and I know how to create like wooden bowls and spoons and things. Basically when I was in college and The Walking Dead was first um, becoming like really big, uh, my friends would say that I was on their zombie apocalypse apocalypse team simply because they knew that I would know like basic um, maintenance things for any like living necessaries that they would have to keep with them. And because I just touted my handworking skills, I guess something to show you that I made last year was this blanket. It's, um, I guess it's like a throw size, so, you know, something you could drape over the back of your couch. I use this under my quilt at night during the winter, and it's actually quite warm, um, but I made this last year, um, through the fall going into the winter because 
I basically have a really hard time sitting and watching television or listening to podcasts or audiobooks or whatever without doing something with my hands. So this was my like long term fall through winter project and it really is quite warm and it actually kept me warm even while I was still knitting it. My most recent personal project is I'm actually currently in the middle of working on this Wool in the Gang knit kit. Uh, this is the Etta cardigan, so it's gonna hopefully look like that once I have finished it. Um, so that's like my most recent craft project, but um, this is gonna sound really hippy-dippy, but my current personal project is working on myself. Um, I am trying to get in shape this year because I have I was pretty in shape in college and I was really good about exercising um, but I just have been kind of feeling a little off in myself so I'm working on kind of overhauling and simplifying my diet and um, I've been actually really good about doing some form of exercise every single day. I've been really blessed that I've always been a slender person. I've never been overweight in any way, but I'm definitely not in shape. Like skinny does not equal in shape. So I'm working on actually putting on some muscle this year, working on um, being less winded when I have to like go on long walks and things. And yeah, that's kind of my, my most personal, most recent personal project. One thing I'm constantly thinking about, but kind of in the back of my brain, you know, not like actively thinking about is dialogue. Um, specifically, uh, whatever project, writing project I have going on at that moment in time, I'm always kind of mulling over the characters in my brain and saying, okay, what would they say in this situation? What would they say in that situation? Something else that I'm really thinking of currently at the moment is how to be more sustainable and more cruelty free in how I interact with the world. So I will probably talk about this more in a, another video, um, but I'm currently trying to go completely cruelty free with all of my like personal care products, uh, which is um, kind of an interesting process. So if you guys would like a more specific video about going cruelty free, I would be happy to make that for you guys because honestly this is something I've been thinking about like nonstop for the past month or so. So um, yeah, not book related, but just a video idea if you guys would be interested. I'm gonna say an oddly specific favorite is breakfast because I feel like breakfast is my favorite meal first of all but also my favorite way to start the day. Like I don't understand people who get up and just go out the door without eating anything that just honestly does not make any sense to me. Every morning I get up, every morning after I get up I feed my dogs and then I have pretty much the exact same breakfast every single day and I love it. I think it's the best way to start the day. I have an egg, a single piece of sourdough toast with butter, and some sort of fruit. And honestly on the days I don't have that, like on the days that I'm really in a hurry and I just have a protein bar or um, the days where we decide to go out to brunch and I end up eating later and something different, I just don't feel like I've mentally prepared myself for the day. I almost think it's more important than putting on makeup or, you know, making sure you've got clean clothes on. Like, for me, I can have all that going, but unless I sit down and eat breakfast, I'm just, I'm not ready to take on the world. You know what I mean? The first thing that pops into my head at this moment in time is what is your specific or oddly specific favorite? Because I do think that's a really hard question and um, really interesting one. So please let me know your oddly specific favorites down in the comments below. And that's it. Those are all the questions for the anything but books tag. So if you guys would like to do this tag video and you haven't yet, feel free to go ahead and consider yourself tagged. But I will not be tagging anybody specific because um, I feel like I always get around to the tags once a lot of people have already done them and so I'm not sure who hasn't been tagged already. But anyways, that's all I have for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you tomorrow for another in my booktube birthday week. Bye!